here we go. Just want to show you guys this awesome charger I've been using. It's uh, it's made by Zan Flare. Uh, it's a nice little charger, and it has also some nice little features. Let me just go ahead and power this up and show you what I mean. So it comes with this adapter, AC-DC, and it plugs in up here. There it is. So what's nice about this is it'll do lithium batteries and also NICAD batteries. So this one right here, it's a NIMH, and of course these are the 1.2 volts. Once you push it in, and, and by the way, this part goes down. So the plus goes down, the minus is what you used to slide in. So it'll go ahead and start charging at 500 milliamps. You can actually raise it to 700 or one amp or lower to 300. I just keep it at 500 and then you got mode. So this will just charge it. This one will fast charge it. So if you're just trying to top them off or something, this is going to do a normal test. So it's actually going to charge it. Then it's going to totally deplete it and then recharge it and tell you the milliamp hours. And then, yeah, I guess there's only three. I thought there was four. So I normally just keep put on the normal test. So let's let that one go. That's the NICAD. Now this one, I rolled it myself because it got damaged and I already tested it out. But this is a lithium battery. What's nice is they're not related. So you can actually put this one right next to it and it's gonna give you the same option. So we'll go ahead and click the, do the uh, normal test. So these are both doing normal tests. This one's completely dead. I've never charged this one yet. This one should be pretty much topped off, but I mean, set around for maybe a couple months. So it's just gonna go ahead and top that one off as well. So once it's charging, this button doesn't do anything because you can't really change it. This doesn't do anything, can't change it. You can actually push these buttons and it'll cycle through the, the display. So here it just shows you you're charging normal 500 milliamps, you know, current. Click it one time, it tells you the current voltage. So it's 1.6. This one is 3.9. So it recognizes each individual one lithium, uh, nickel metal. I think it does a few other ones. I don't remember exactly, but it's on the box when you buy it. So you got the voltages, then you push it again. This is the milliamp hour count. So basically when this one's fully charged, then it'll deplete it and then it'll start counting up and it'll give you a number. So in this case, when I charge this one up, this only has 700 milliamps. That's pretty much trash. So next option is the resistance. So this one has 400 and that has 130. So this basically tells you kind of how old the battery is. And if it's got a lot of resistance, then it's probably just not gonna charge. So I think that's about it. Oh, you know, then it gives you your time. So this one's been charging now for two minutes. That's been, or yeah, two minutes. That's been charging for one minute. This should jump up to two in a few seconds because they're pretty close back to back. And that's basically it. We go back to normal. So now let me show you the nice thing about this, uh, the really nice, interesting feature about this. You can actually unplug this and the batteries now run this. So in this case, let's just use the lithium. So hypothetically, you got one battery, nothing really works. Let me grab a cable real quick. So here, just a regular iPhone cable. Plug it back here. Now it says USB. So you can actually take your phone and that's not enough power. So let me grab a second battery and we were about to go ahead and charge this phone up. Although, just for giggles, let's see if this will work. So it's not enough power in here. This this battery's not fully charged. The other one's completely dead, needs charging. So let me just get a couple more lithium. All right, so I got two more batteries. Um, let's just go ahead and pull that out. These are a little better. So 2,000, 2,300, and they're charged. So push one of those in, no power yet. Push a second one in. we go. So 
So now the phone will charge. Let's see if we can pull one out. Yep. So it'll still charge. And I guess basically the more you add, even though this one's kind of low capacity, high capacity, and high capacity, now you got yourself a brick, basically a battery bank of four batteries. So if you got yourself 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, you got yourself an 8,000 or 8 amp brick that you can basically have on the go for your phone to charge. So that's a very nice feature. Basically, as long as you got one battery that's charged up, you're good to go. So yeah, this thing will charge lithium batteries and it'll charge, yeah, this one, not enough amp, it's a, it's a one volt battery. There's not much going on in there. And I guess because these need five volts or so to charge. So one of these is just not enough volts, but it has a lot of amps. So it'll still charge. It's charging right now. And I think that if you put in more, it'll actually put out more amps, not, not like a ton more, but it'll go up to the maximum USB, whatever amperage that'll, that'll take. So it's a great um, charger for batteries, like I said. It'll charge your batteries and in a pinch, it'll be a, a battery bank for your, for your phone and other USB devices.